The people of Noah's nation were amongst the most corrupt. Being persistent in their disbelief and consistent in their idol worshiping, they rejected the miracles and clear signs of monotheism. Prophet Noah then ended up asking God to torment his nation for their evil and corruption. God then asked Noah to plant it a date seed, and once it grows, he and his companions should eat from it. The palm grew and fruited. Noah ate from the fruit and instructed his companions to eat from the date palm as well. Nothing happened. Then his companion said, O oh, prophet of God, what happened to the promise that you have promised us of? Prophet Noah supplicated to God, asking him to carry out the punishment. God revealed to him to plant another seed, and when it grew and fruited, he would torment them. Noah conveyed this to his companions. They divided into three groups. One group apostatized, the other dissembled, and the third one still kept to Prophet Noah. Prophet Noah planted another seed. It grew and fruited. He ate from its fruit and fed his companions. They again said, O Prophet of God, what about the promise that you have made? He prayed to God again. And God revealed to him to plant a third seed, and if it grew and fruited, then he is to eat from its fruit so the punishment may be carried out. Noah conveyed this to his companions for the third time. Those that had kept to him split off again into three groups. One group apostatized, the other dissembled, and the third one still kept to prophet Noah. This cycle went on for ten times, and each time the companions would split into the same three groups. Until it reached the tenth time. In the tenth time, his sincere companions came to him and said, O prophet of God, whether you do what you have promised or you do not do, you are truthful. You are a prophet sent by God, and we never doubt you whatever you do to us. In this way, God perished the people of Noah, except the loyal companions who kept to prophet Noah. Prophet Noah and his sincere followers rode on the ark, and so God saved them after they had been tried, sifted, and cleared. And so this narration serves as a poignant reminder that loyalty is not easily attained. Instead, it is forged through enduring hardship, navigating challenging trials, and persevering through tribulations. Just as gold is refined through the intense heat of the crucible, so too is loyalty purified and strengthened through the fires of adversity. In the end, it is these very challenges that reveal the unwavering commitment and steadfastness of those who remain loyal, demonstrating that loyalty is a beacon of light even in the darkest of times.